Bueno, bueno, continuando con la trama principal, me puse a buscar a tres médicos, después me llegaron a estar un huevón este, que se pone todas las mujeres, y resulta que el tipo es un ladrón y me toca buscarlo con un coñazo de nada. Aquí estoy, muchachos. Ready? Right on. We go on your mark. Let's go then. Mines like war. I never know when you're done for. Tengo tiempo para ti. en el RPG que esa tierra screaming downstairs it's all right now will you help me what's your name rico rico mayersdorf why are you here what's it look like i came in to sit and think God. all right clever and tough's not working for me they took me for one of bedlam's molds are you? Well, kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See him. He's sure to reward you. Wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. A mind's like war. Never know what they're done for. Y 
ni mujeres ni niños. Con la lista de deudores
Rivia. Witcher. White wolf, they call you. You stand accused. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. This is a misunderstanding. But fine, take them. Though I'll need a receipt. Wouldn't want to lose anything. Yeah, drawn it up for you now. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witches? A man you humiliated before his faith. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites. Any needs, monster? to Junior's joint. I heard, I heard. My lads near came to blows wanting to be the first to tell me. <laughs> Made quite an impression on them. I know, whore son. Wherever he is, he's positively furious. Won't be able to control himself. He'll leave whatever hidey hole he found to lay low in. Can't wait. <laughs> Patience, Witcher. And cheer up. Cleaver pays well for a job well done. Promised a reward, and here it is. More where that came from. What do you want? What can you tell me about? 
Jr. Aiming to write his biography. Put his dad in it. Whore son, son of whore son. Great title. I'm all ears. Whore son C is the most ruthless man I've ever met. I'm matched to blackmail, murder, and hustling. Word is, he had a line on the hierarchy himself. Junior inherited all his gaffer's traits set one, his love of poetry. Senior was on his way to an evening recital when Junior killed him. Then he promptly took over all his businesses in contact. So long. Some interesting friends. Footprints. Absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or series.
Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold played the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelair was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stop by to see if everything was all right. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So, I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt. How can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt. But after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Mm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, which hunters' quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. 
Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the Hunter's Barracks alive with my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. Departed a week after the summer to Block Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell... <laughs> That's my secret, love birds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Sorry. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hope not. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen. Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. <laughs> 